this was a capital city along with the rest of Ukraine that woke up to the sounds of explosions, low flying jets on the 24th of February. It was at 10 to 5 in the morning when Russia carried out the unthinkable. After gathering more than 150,000 troops for months on the border, Vladimir Putin announced a social, a so-called special military operation to topple uh, Ukraine's leadership. As we talk here today on the 3rd of June, President Zelensky of Ukraine remains in power uh, and the Ukrainians are very much holding their defensive line. Russia has had to shrink its ambitions eastwards, but this has nevertheless been 100 days which has changed the very future of this country. And we've taken a look back. A bubble of innocence in a world ruptured by war. However, Thadir doesn't know any different. He was born on the 25th of February, the second day of this invasion. So what kind of Ukraine will he grow up in? Our country is really good. And um, maybe it's uh, like price that we need to pay for our kids to live in a better world, in a better country. Victoria ended up giving birth in this hospital basement, shielded from 50 other people. Despite the turbulent start to her son's life, she's certain of the values she wants to instill. I told him to appreciate and uh, to be grateful to people of his country and uh, try and to keep special Ukrainian spirit. 100 days ago, the front line came to Kiev's doorstep. Towns like Irpin bore the brunt, with people and pets desperate to get out. But the Russian troops ultimately couldn't get in. There is still, though, a giant question mark over whether they will come back for Kiev. That hasn't put the city off, though, trying to heal. For some families, that will take time. One Ukrainian soldier is taken to his final resting place followed by his mother, Vladislava. Bogdan Kravitsky was 26 years old. His first name means given by God because his parents had waited so long to have a child. We have to win. There is no other way. There is no other way. We're going to win. This collective grief hasn't killed the fight. We don't need the sky, ground or sea to be closed. Let them come here. It will be easier to kill them on our land. We need weapons. We'll take care of the rest.